Other than the individual issues that you've already talked about, I was just wondering if you could possibly comment on any further ethical issues on a larger scale, because it seems entirely possible that with everyone becoming so interlinked, it would be so easy to manipulate a large amount of people by the actions of so few into a certain way of thinking. Yes, that is very true. And, um, and again, this is where society needs to evolve and mature. There are some ways that we haven't even thought about that, that um, there could be a lot of very negative impact. In fact, one example is people always talk about the internet saying this is, or people used to talk about the internet in this way, saying that by being connected to everything around the world, um, your point of view will always be more varied and you'll never be siloed in your point of view. The opposite, in fact, is true. Um, if you look at a pre-internet age, you would directly interface with your immediate peers you'd meet at your local pub, and you would think that your, your, your worldview would just be what's directly around you. And people thought the internet would spread that worldview a lot, and you would have a lot of influence from outside of your immediate surroundings. Like I said, the opposite is true, because, um, because of the, the amount of choice you have on the internet, you tend to find precisely like-minded people, even if they're halfway around the world, which means that your ideas never change or grow. Um, so, yes, you're right, society does need to grow and adapt to some of these things, and we can't even predict how it's going to cause, uh, what sort of effect it's going to cause in some ways. I had a question which is a bit more general. Uh, you were talking about how the internet and social networking are on a kind of race forward. Um, what do you think about the SOPA Act and the effect it's going to have on this racing forward? Do you think it's going to be like a deceleration almost? And um, what do you think about Facebook becoming a public company? Well, the first question on SOPA, I, I, I don't think SOPA should go through. I think that um, we, need to be able to, we need to resist that. We need to work around that. If it does go through, yes, it might cause an initial deceleration, but as always, we find ways around things. Um, the second part about Facebook becoming a public company, well, they're just another corporate entity. Yes, they, they will do that. that. That's no surprise at all. I think that Facebook has been a great experiment. It's been a great social experiment for us to show us that social networks are A, useful, B, uh, well, addictive, and it makes people um, use it in some ways. Um, very, very handy for communication. But Facebook's the wrong way to do it. It's a wrong way to do it because it is a commercial entity, and that needs to change. There is an open source project called Diaspora. Um, it is essentially the, the very same software that's, be found, that's behind Facebook, very similar to what's behind Facebook, and that can be run on micro devices like Freedom Boxes and things like that in a mesh-like distributed fashion. I think things like Diaspora are going to be on the rise to take over the baton of social networks. Um, in the end, things like Twitter and Facebook, I predict, are going to be, um, um, they've got a limited lifespan. Do you think more people should start learning how to use programming languages such as C? Or do you think it should be reserved for the more technologically minded? Well, there's nothing wrong with learning it. I think that's always good fun. But uh, it's entirely up to you as to what you want to do in terms of a career. As a hobbyist, yeah, sure, learn as much as you can. It's, it's, it. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's still very much in use today.